but it's a bit of a, a long-winded answer, Dean, but that's the position of Eucadia. Look, I'm going to go to the next caller, um, and then we'll, we'll, uh, we'll keep going through the questions. So, uh, North and West Colorado, can you hear us? Yes. Uh -huh. uh, unfortunately, Hi. I just um, tuned in in time to hear about the probate, because this answered a question for me, because a couple of weeks ago, I got a letter saying, Dear Victim, and it was from the probate court of New Jersey. Huh. And, and indeed, it had nothing to do with anybody's will, or it had to do with somebody who was criminally found guilty of tax evasion, mail fraud, and something else. And this would be an attempt to make some of the victims whole as part of what they're doing. Ah. Is there an opportunity to redact that correspondence uh, so that you know any the ultimately private information uh, can't be seen, but but the function of it can be seen, or is it not possible? Do you think? No, because what they want you to do is list how you've been damaged. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, but, you could put you know. The, apparently, this was a. They sent a general form. You don't right. have to do an affidavit. They right. had something else that they consider legal, and it would be presented at the. Mm, well, the claim the, ultimately isn't it? The yeah, trial it's a claim. Where, you know, uh, the punishment. I'm going to use that word. That isn't what they use, but would be assessed. <clears throat> so well, that's you know, great it information. included physical damages. If if it happened to include that, it was kind of a general letter. This was probably one where people were more financially damaged. But the, well, that's a, but they uh, they are presenting this for you at the time of that aspect of the case. You know, anybody who wants to say they've been damaged. So you can't keep it that private. Cause, and they already obviously know who I am and they sent me the yeah. letter. Yeah. No, it was, it was more that, I, that we could... We could um, Give it as an example because it just it just um, validates the point that we said that court most court is functioning as probate court as claims against the estate. Yes. Yes, but the people are alive. I mean, you know, it's not a deceased group. Actually, it's a group. Mm. So, but they were found. You know, I think there were like eight eight people, and they were found guilty in June. Mm. Well, so it's a, it's a fascinating it's a, hmm? Hmm, it's a fascinating example, and I really appreciate you sharing that with us. That there is an example that validates that if, if anyone was doubting, we are truly dealing when we go to their courts with a they call it a surrogate court, a surrogate court operating under probate on 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 proving of claims against the estate. Yeah? But thank you, because I, as I say, I, I was mystified when I saw this thing, a letter, you know, from a probate court, and then when I read the contents, I thought, this is strange, they're not dead. <laughs> well, now you know. Look, yeah. thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Well, there's an example um, straight away. Well, let's go straight to the next caller, and then I'll go, uh, which is Darwin Bourne, and then we'll go through. Hello, Darwin Bourne. Hello. Hey. <laughs> well, you've answered most of my questions, and the other callers have as well, so I wasn't sure whether or not I should continue, but I was really trying to get my head around understanding the the actions of the position of the Office of Executor and why somebody would apply to the tax department to receive remuneration for injury done to them under our system or with our forms. Because we're not ready for receiving or interacting with their system, from my understanding. But we're only able to uh, uh, demonstrate our ability to manage our own affairs. That, 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 that means precisely not having anything to do with what they're doing. 
and the fact that taxation is a form of tribute to their system means that exactly that <laughs> and we are not that so no. it's, uh, it's, uh, it defeats the purpose of the of the whole structure of what we've put together and all of the work that people do like Ron with receiving a thousand right hands to the head to learn to block one for everybody not for himself or for himself with everybody as part well, of the can you think, uh, well give an example um, just for people on the call when uh, the bank wants to have you evicted from your home they will refuse to accept any payments from you from the point that they start a foreclosure procedure you've, you've heard of that before yeah they won't accept any more payments they'll accept the whole amount or nothing at all yeah you've heard that yep. and the reason they they do that is they want to prove a claim and the claim is that you are delinquent you are a delinquent tenant and that is so that they can terminate your estate it's a fundamental requirement they cannot terminate your estate if you're not delinquent so they need to prove that legal premise and the same thing I suggest to all of us is what the uh, government and those that are behind taxation want to do when they say these people are against taxation what they're saying to the broader community is that these people don't want to contribute to the community which of course is an absolute outrageous fib so within the UK this structure we say that everybody and it's absolutely everybody everybody must contribute in some way we said a 10% flat rate is the contribution rate for everybody no exceptions and and so that pool of of funds will be available now if there is a call on that community from the Roman system then of course it the the system can say the community the the campus the province the university can say or the tribe can say that we have a way of contributing for that road we have a way of contributing for that health care uh, above and beyond whatever the broader community grants so the issue as I as I said in the call earlier with taxation isn't the concept of contribution everybody must contribute it is the fact that their system is specifically designed to torture us to treat it as a form of punishment tribute and to legally being a taxpayer legally list us as nothing better than a child molester as a criminal and I won't stand for that. I'm not that. Beautifully spoken. Well, yeah. So, good point. Is there anything else you want to cover just while you're on? Uh, there's a fair bit, but uh, I'm just lost for words at the moment. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm really trying to get my head around that somebody would actually go and do that because it, 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 it's, frankly, it's, uh, it, it's an injury on the community. And uh, I just don't understand why that, why that because we we are, are answerable for the actions of our members, even though that they've acted as non-members because a member would not do that, would not injure the community because they don't understand the form that they've used if they have. So that means they haven't used it in the correct intent. So it can be as perfected as it wants. Well, the, the, the reason the reason that we say the bar guilds around the world must immediately it's overdue must immediately be dissolved is that they have declared war against the community they have not only injured the community they have deliberately sought to injure and hurt as traitors to their own community and that doesn't mean that judges can't come together we, we have things called colleges of judges it doesn't mean even that council uh, or clerks can't come together there are colleges of clerks and colleges of council as well but the private bar guilds are the most treasonous poisonous awful societies secret societies fraternities ever conceived and they must be 
wrought out like a cancer from our societies as fast as possible. Uh, and yes, it's astounding to think that a group uh, that claim to be... I mean, it's astounding that they are in fact even claim the law but for any fraternity to come together and consciously deliberately seek to usurp destroy and poison their own community is 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 beyond comprehension for most people and that's why i think in some respect they've got away with it because it it seems almost too too uh, unimaginable and yet that's exactly what they've been doing look thank you for everything you've done uh he's dropped off uh so we'll keep going. But um, thanks, Darwin Bourne, for everything you're doing. Uh, can you hear us? You still there? No. Hey, you still there. Thanks for everything no. you're doing. And, and just to let every people know, we've been having quite a few conversations and there's a lot of things happening. Um, and thank you to the community, to the greater community, for all the work that they're doing. And, to, and absolutely everybody, because it's, it's thank you so much. All right. Okay, talk to you soon. Um, let's see, we've got a couple of questions here in the in the chat and then we'll get to uh, the next caller, which I think Shambo is back on there. Uh, and then we'll wrap up in a few minutes. Um, Zar DM Ofo asks, uh, does a town crier still hold the power to put on public record and public notice? Uh, that's a good question. I don't know. And, and that's part of the problem. We've got to make a distinction between what was once on the books, what was one once law by Roman uh, estate law, and what has now since been removed, dissolved, uh, shifted, or absorbed. So I can't tell you that that is still on the books. It, it would be nice that it would be, because it's a romantic idea, but this has been our problem. Too much of the information we've done has been on the presumption that certain things are still available to us, but if they're removed from statute, then they're no longer effective. And I think we've got to become far more forensic uh, than, than to hold this idea that, that things still continue even though they've been removed. So I, I, the answer is I don't know, but let us find out. Um, Judah asks a question, can I suggest the word capture for some of these ideas regarding the Roman system, ID capture the penal system? Yes, it's the word capture. We use the word consume a lot, which is uh, really the intention of consuming them, and consumption as the equivalence of enclosure, that is, enclosing them in a higher model. Let me get to uh, Shambo, and we'll see if anyone else wants to speak either by the chat or, or through that. Shambo, can you hear us? Yeah, hi, Frank. I um, just had another question. Uh, last caller mentioned this, and it brought a thought to my mind. Uh, supposedly we have a, you know, in this so-called government, we have a legislative, executive, and judicial. Uh, I was curious, executive department, that relates to executor, the president, there's administration, all this. Uh, is it possible in this so-called democracy when we vote, are we appointing them as executors? Absolutely. Absolutely. And that is why our vote, our consent, is so crucial. You know, it, it's, a, it's probably one of the most sobering things to realize that the people we need to blame for all the problems ultimately are ourselves, yeah? I agree. And it, it, it is sobering because it is easy to fall into the mindset of being a victim. Life deals us bad cards and it can deal us bad cards a many, number of times. And before we know it, we can go from a home, a job, to no home, no job, to marriage, to no marriage, to family, to on our own, to, to being free, to being in prison. And along the process, we see 
the injustices that people do. 